Christian women are tired of having a sick heart. They want love, they want marriage, they want a family, and heck, they want to have sex. And honestly, that was me. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Janicia, and in this video, I want to start a series called Christian Women Have Had Enough. Basically, I'm a Christian woman as well, and I've talked to many, many different Christian women who have aired their frustrations with me and told me things that they just don't believe in anymore, they've given up on, just frustrations that they have. So I want to address it in this series. The first topic that I want to address is that Christian women have given up on finding the one. Now, in this video, I'm not talking about the one per se. We're not saying whether the one is a real thing or not. It's more so about having someone. I've met so many women who don't even believe that they will find anyone at all. When you have been alone for so long, you can start to feel like there's no one out there for you. You may have written out this long or simple list of the man that you desire, but you don't even have a face or someone in mind to match that list. So what do you do? To avoid more pain, you get comfortable with the idea that you will be alone forever. Proverbs 13, 12 says, hope deferred makes the heart sick. Christian women are tired of having a sick heart. They want love, they want marriage, they want a family and heck, they want to have sex. And honestly, that was me. I have been celibate for 12 years. And during a lot of that time, I was not in a relationship. I believed that God had someone for me, but I couldn't see him at all. I had a list, but no guy came close to that list. I pray and I pray and I pray, but nobody came. And it wasn't about my list as far as why I was single. A couple of times I would get close to someone and I wouldn't know deep down in my spirit that God was telling me no. And if I didn't listen to the no, crazy stuff would happen and God would have me separate from guys. He would have me move to another city. He would cut things off. All kind of things would happen to cause a division in that relationship that I was trying to form. And I used to be so frustrated. Because I would be like, God, is something wrong with me? What is happening? And it's crazy because I didn't want much. I didn't need no prince from another country driving a Lamborghini, fine as all outdoors. I didn't need all of these things. I didn't have an extravagant list. I mainly just wanted a guy who loved God. And at this time, all of my friends got married. They started having one, two, and three kids while I was over here lonely and single as a dollar bill. So finally, that hope deferred made my heart really sick. I felt like love was not gonna happen for me. I felt like something was wrong with me. So I was there, single, hopeless, and I was frustrated. And the crazy thing is, when I got tired of waiting, I decided to find me someone. <laughs> and when I would do that, I would be with someone who I knew good enough well was not the person for me. I did not want to marry them. I didn't want them to be the father of my children. I knew I was not supposed to be there. They were literally a counterfeit of my husband. But because I decided to move from under God's covering and get it on my own, so many things happened that should not have happened. And I felt like I was set back some years because I was being disobedient. And instead of joy, it brought on this depression. Okay, singleness can be quite a struggle, right? Sometimes you're tired of waiting on God, you're tired of waiting on having sex, and you're tired of all these thoughts going in your head that you're gonna be alone. Why is everybody else in love and you can't find the right one? I understand what that was because I went through every single one of those challenges and God put me through. I learned so much along this journey and I wanna share it with you. So I created a whole course for single Christian women who are ready for marriage and they need to navigate singleness. And what's different about this course is that we're doing it God's way. There's many other people out there who can teach you how to, you need to do this, you need to do that. But God has a specific way in order in which you can prepare your heart, your mind, your body, and everything for that right man. So I'm going to be real, I'm going to be honest, and I put it all in one course just for you. So if you're tired of struggling and you don't want to do this alone, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box and let's get back to the video. And when I woke up from it and I exited out of that, I ran back to God and was like, God, never again. We ain't doing that again. I will not be with the counterfeit. I will not settle for anybody because I'm tired of waiting on the right person. 
Psalms 37, 4 says, delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. So what I want to tell other Christian women who are frustrated, who have had enough, who don't believe that the one is out there for them, is that just because you don't see it doesn't mean that you should give up on your desire for marriage. God knows your desires for marriage. When you truly align yourself with God, your desires are actually his desires for you. It may feel like it's taken a long time. You may feel like everybody else has gotten what you desire, but it's not too late for you. And I know that because it wasn't too late for me. I waited 12 years for the man of God that God had for me. So the answer is not to give up on finding the one, but to continue to delight yourself in the Lord so that he can give you the desires of your heart, which are ultimately his desires for you. All right, so that's all I have for you in this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have other topics that Christian women have had enough of, I would love to address it in another video. So leave that down below in the comment section. And subscribe if you haven't done so yet because I would love to see you more often. And I'll see you later. Bye.